Hello guys, Zuljin here, and welcome to a highly anticipated game that I've been waiting for for a long time called Rebel Galaxy. Big shout out to Travis Baltry, one of the developers for Rebel Galaxy, for sending me a key. I've been badgered him about for the last couple months. Thanks so much, dude. Um, Rebel Galaxy is described as an action-packed, swashbuckling space opera. Uh, you battle pirates, explore anomalies, befriend aliens, scavenge battle wreckage, mine asteroids, and discover artifacts. You can choose your path as a roguish do-gooder, crafty space trader, or power-hungry privateer, or maybe a little of each. Buy larger and powerful crafts with your hard on credits and outfit them with a variety of wicked weapons and defenses. Set in a galaxy of fantastic sights and secrets to be found, Rebel Galaxy is above all a space epic of adventure, exploration, and combat. So, the key was provided to me by Travis Baltry yesterday, and uh, I played around a little bit. Like, I, I really couldn't wait, but it was late when I got it. So I decided that I was going to play it a little bit this morning. I got familiar with the controls and stuff. Uh, right offhand, I just want to say thanks as well to Argo Fox Creative Commons. Uh, it's a YouTube website that I use for um, the music that you're hearing in the video right now. Unfortunately, the music that does come with the game is its incredible. Don't get me wrong, but it's also copywritten. So I can't play it on YouTube. So what I did is I used the music that I use for a lot of my live streams, which is a royalty-free package um, that I got from... Uh, Orgo Fox Creative Commons. So check the links in the description for all the music that you'll hear in the background today and in the future I'll be updating the playlist. The game has a great way to um, to use music that you have on your own and, and upload it into custom files and stuff. Uh, so I went ahead and did that so you'll hear a lot of the same songs in different sections of the game. Anyway guys, I rambled enough, let's get started. So we're gonna go with new game. <laughs> All right, here we go. Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen. I'll turn this up just a little bit. Ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Uh huh. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, Rust City, the way space station with a questionable <laughs> reputation. <laughs> She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. A few unscheduled maintenance this stops. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. I love the music to this game. Like, if you guys check it out, the links will be in the description below for all the stuff that I mentioned before, guys, as well as the, uh... Um... Oh, incoming hail. All right. Ooh. <laughs> You're a cutie pie. Ah, there you are. Your aunt asked me to keep an eye out for you. I see you found an old ship. Bring it into the dock and meet me at the bar. I have something for you. Who are you? <laughs> okay, so where are my manners? I'm Orzu, an old friend of your aunt's back in my younger, wilder days. Now on the bar here and life is quieter. He kind of reminds me of the pirate on, uh, like, um, uh, what's the guy with the squid face? Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, ah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I see. Well, I guess I'll see you after our dock. Alright. Alright. So, by the way, guys, if you do like this video, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for this series. You can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of this, so let's, uh, let's check out the introduction. Welcome to Rebel Galaxy. First, you're going to want to get comfortable maneuvering your ship. Tap E to increase your throttle in 25% increments and Q to reduce it. Uh, use A and D to steer. Uh, next, you'll want to dock with the nearby station. Use the mouse to look around, fly close enough, and the context will prompt you now that uh, let you know that you can hold E to dock. From there, visit the bar and find out what Orzu has to say. All right, that seems easy enough. Man, it's it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. All right, let's go up a little bit. Oh wait, 25% increments. Ah, I see. Okay. SM. What is SM? Full stop. Full stop. Uh. Hold on, I gotta steer a little bit. 
How close do I have to get the dock? Oh, there we go. Like, very close. <laughs> okay, buy a turret. The Rasputin has two turret mounts, but only one turret installed at the present. It's a good idea to visit the equipment bay, enter the weapons section, and purchase a new scatter turret to install your beta turret mount. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's go do that first, I guess. So we'll go to equipment bay, weapons. Oh, beta turret. There we go. Scatter turret. Buy. Yes. Nice. I like how they have, like, buttons for everything as well as you can use the mouse for it. It's pretty cool. At first, I thought I could use my Hoda's joystick for this, but apparently the only controls built in right now are uh, the mouse and keyboard. But it's very optimized for mouse and keyboard based on how it feels so far. All right. Uh, it looks like I can go back here. Visit the bar. And meet Orzu. <laughs> you're the spitting image of Juno. I'm, uh... You're the spitting image of that pirate on Captain... I can't get it out of my head, you guys. So where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. To be honest, I don't know. I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Why do you say that? Because she gave me something to give to you on her behalf. Why would she have done so if she wasn't expecting to be present? What is it? Maybe I'll tell you how to find her. That may be. She called it a spectre. <laughs> Although, I doubt that it's a proper name. Juno mentioned that it's some sort of AI symbiote. Whatever that means. Can I see it? Here you go. Ooh, it's a ball. As your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to find her. That's the Rasputin parked in the hangar, isn't it? I'd hate to say it, but sometimes... But times have changed since. It's a trustworthy ship. Well, you've got no deflector, no tractor beam, a hull plating like paper, and to be frank, your weapon systems are practically pop guns. No offense. All right. Any suggestions? I can get you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off to your inevitable doom. I can't afford to let it go for nothing, though. I've got a little something that would help you in exchange. What kind of something? A shipment of grill whiskey coming in. My supplier, however, seems to have gotten himself in the hot water and can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment if you can make the exchange. I have something for you when you return. Uh, it's a deal. Excellent. Here's 500 credits for the payoff in the coordinates where you'll meet him. His name is Branson Cole, and he should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back and we'll get you squared away. I have some more information as well. I'm on it. Alright. Um, oh, you can hire a mercenary too. There's a news board. Tech booms. Mining rush. Uh-huh. So you can do a lot of mining in this game apparently too, which is uh, which is pretty cool. I like the open world feel of it. Feel of it, even though there's missions and stuff you could take. Elite Dangerous, which I also play, is a lot like this, um, as far as taking missions, visiting stations, and stuff. Uh, but this game seems a little bit more straightforward, less piloty sim, and more like space combat. Uh, missions are marked as gold diamonds on your screen and radar. Adjust your heading to point towards your destination and move farther away from objects, large objects. You will accelerate to sublight speed and warp capability. Uh, let me turn this down again. Hold on. Um, it's a little bit loud, I know, guys. The music gets a little loud sometimes. Alright, but I think it adds a lot to the game, so you guys let me know in the description. Give me a little bit of feedback on the music volume and stuff like that. Okay, so basically that yellow diamond right there is what we need to head to. So we're going to go ahead and increase speed to increments of high, and we'll be able to use warp in just a second as well. Risk low. Primary mission on the exchange. And now we can hold W to go to warp. Oh, wait. Is it? No, we hold E to go to warp. W is like a boost. All right. So as you can see, <laughs> we're going a lot faster now. E, you can exit warp anytime you want. You can also steer in this state, which is kind of cool. We got a little bit further to go. 18. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Making sure. Oh, it's like a lightning storm over here. The galaxy colors are beautiful. All 
All right, I'm slowing down here. Out of range. Branson Cole. Incoming hail. And I hold E. Hey there. Or you send you? Got my payment. Um, yes, I do have your payment. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> what are these options? Yeah, he did. Here's the cash. Yeah, but honestly, I think I'll keep it for myself. Hand over the cargo. I'll blow a hole clear through you. Nope, you must be looking for someone else. So, like, I really want to do the pirate thing. <laughs> but I don't think I'm well enough equipped yet. I mean, I only got, like, one weapon or something like that, and I've never gotten a fight in my life. So let's go ahead and play good guy for now. When we get a little bit more equipped, we'll be rambunctious Pleasure with it. Doing business with you. Mission All right. Oh. Oh my. So the lightning storm is bad right here. All right here. And engage warp. And we heading back to the station. Nice. So what do y'all think so far, guys? Beautiful game, right? So far, it's, it's, it seems really, really good, to tell you the truth. Some trailers, like, on games, do, don't do very good justice for games, and some of them do uh, great, great, great things for <laughs> the game, and when you get into the game, it's a lot different. So, so far, everything I've seen from the trailers feels a lot like what I'm already experiencing here. All right. Slow. Exiting e hold dock. Well, I dock a lot better in this game. Nine thousand three hundred fifteen credits received. Whoa, that's awesome. Speak with Orzu again. Excellent. Many thanks for your help. I've got two options for you here: a deflector and a tractor. Mm. Deflectors are an excellent defense in combat. And of course, you'll need a tractor beam to bring op objects into Rasputin's hold. So, I think the deflector is the smarter choice, although the tractor beam is the more lucrative choice. I think I'm going to go ahead and get a deflector because I don't know what the death penalty is, but let's just face it. Death is not good in any game, right? A fine choice. I'll have my men transferred to the Rasputin round. So what about my aunt? Yes, of course, but I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor, given how deftly you handled the exchange. Uh, well, tell me about it, I suppose. Simple matter, I would have items at a remote storage location, given their contents. It would be best if they were discovered by any interested parties I need them disposed of at no real risk to you. Hmm. Uh, alright, I guess I can do that. Perfect, here's the relevant information. Destroy the containers however you see fit. I'm sure it won't take a moment. Alright, I'll be back shortly. Alright. So, we got a lot of money now. <laughs> we gotta check this, uh, this, this, um, this, well, I guess the equipment bay. Uh, defenses... Oh, shield, primary shields, deflector. I do have a deflector in. Okay, what about components? Booster, cargo hold, tractor beam. How much is a tractor beam to buy? Oh, that's easy. Oh, 4,500 credits. I'm going to get it, it anyway because it seems like we're going to need that. Um, jump drive, none installed. Require. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, cargo hold. Oh, wow. Uh, extends space of the vessel by four. Currently in hold zero. Um, it looks as though cargo hold is going to be a little more expensive than I have money for right now. Weapons. Uh, got my two turrets. What's a pulse cannon? Ordnance, no launchers available. 2500 flak cannons. Short range concussive blast. Effective against fighters and incoming missiles, but useless against capital ships. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I I got the money. Now I have a now I have a new weapon, and I have um, I have my and you can always remove it too. I guess you can sell it. I'm not too sure how that works, but I guess we'll look. All right, well I got some stuff now. All right, let's go make some more money, shall we? Uh, let's see here. So it looks like my mission is around here. 
full stop. Oh no, we we don't want full stop. Engines at maximum. Yeah, that's what we want. Maximum capacity. All right, 921. Accelerating to sublight. Zoom! <laughs> I love the sound. Oh, what's going on? Combat in Rebel Galaxy is naval style, which means broadsides. Use left mouse button to fire your broadside cannons. To aim your broadsides, orbit the camera until it faces the direction you wish to fire. Now hold right mouse button to charge your broadsides. The shot predictor will show where the projectiles will travel and will be adjusted with the mouse. The longer you hold right mouse button, the more accurate the synchronized your shots will be. All right. Uh, e dismiss. I guess we're in combat. Ah, as a pirate, I guess. Okay. Oh snap! Missiles. Oh gosh. I need to speed up a little bit, I think. I didn't even hit him. Ouch. Satellite boosters defeated. Okay, I hit him a little bit. Is my turret hitting him? I guess it's hitting him. Oh, I got him. Okay. Maybe. Okay, you can absorb damage uh, at will by using your deflector. Hold space. While the deflector is engaged, you can't fire any of your weapons, but 100% of the damage will be absorbed. The deflector has limited capacity and drains over time as well when struck. More advanced deflectors can absorb more damage. Alright. So I didn't defeat him. Ah, all right, very good. This guy's. Uh, oh, I got him. Nice. Oh, the militia came and helped. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Okay, so I wasn't the best at combat right there. Did we get anything for that? I don't even understand. Okay. I'm trying to find out like how much damage I took and all of that stuff. It looks to me, I'm going to have to do some UI research, but it looks to me like at the bottom left would be, or no, the, the top right would be my, uh, my systems. Primary mission objective cleanup. So it looks like I did not take that much damage. I'm hoping, oh, what was that? Oh man, I think that was my pulse. I haven't got a whole lot of experience in that yet. All right, let's warp. Beautiful, man. Primary mission, cleanup operation. Wow, look at all the, oh, what is all this? What are these things? It's just canisters or whatever? Detected hostile. Okay, he's way back there though. I'm not. I'm not gonna have to worry about him. All right, let's warp again. How close can we get? That close. <laughs> All right. There's some... Oh, there's the containers right there. Um... Okay, got that. Oh, I, c I see you can spam fire on some of that stuff. Combat's just gonna take me a little while to get used to it, all, is all there is to it. 
Okay, got those two. Oh no. Your turrets are an important part of combat. They are capable of firing at your targets. Your broadsides can't reach. Oh, okay. Use three and two to switch between stations. All right. Uh, of your vessel, this will allow you to manually control individual turret groups. When controlling a turret group, use the mouse to aim the turret's reticle. When near a valid target, it will snap to the target and follow it automatically. Aha! Uh -huh. So, three and two. Um, let's see how this works. Three? Scatter turret. Oh, nice. Nice. So... Huh. Okay, this is pretty cool then. Okay, so if I go to two, now my broadsides are back. Right, okay, let's go back to where the mission objective is. Increase our speed just a little bit. Double Jack Retaliator. All right, so my turret is on him. That's pretty cool. Let's try the, the turret. Oh, I'm blasting him. I'm blasting him now. Okay, my weapons are overheating. I got it. Oh, wow, there's, there's a few things after me here. All right. Broadside. Let's go back to broadsides. I uh, can absorb all that damage. All right. These guys are a little bit hard to get, but the broadsides are great, man. Okay. Where's this other fool? Sublight boosters depleted. Where are you? Cargo container. Scatter turret. This is a matter of range. Let's get a little bit closer. I'm starting to learn how to drive this thing. Ouch. Did I take a little bit of damage from that? There's this other guy. Double Jack Retaliator. Retaliate this. Yeah, I know. Fine. Broadsides. This is gonna hurt a lot, dude. Oh no, we going in. We are going in. Turrets. Later, G. Later. Mission. Blow that up. Mission complete. Okay, how do I get this ore now? Uh, oh. Oh, you could just suck it in. All right, let's go back to the mission target. Oh no, that's way over there. Is there anything else in this area that I can grab? Metallic ore. I guess not. Broadsides. All right, we getting it now. An ordnance crate. Okay, hold on. Let's get close to that. Exiting sublight. Retrieve that ordnance crate. Full. Oh, ordnance is full. Engines at maximum. Oh, I need more cargo space, y'all. That's my next that's my next priority. More cargo space. Alright. Let's engage some warp. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So far, this game feels really, really cool, guys. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I've been like space games are my jam. I really do like space games. And frigate. What's going on here? Oh, that's the militia frigates. Uh 
Wait, what? 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 Oh no, we're gonna keep going here. All squared away. That's my mission objective here. All right. Let me in. There we go. Okay. Repairs needed? How bad? 120 credits? Oh, we repaired all of that. Nice. Uh, okay. And I don't know if I want to rename my ship yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to make that kind of commitment. Visit the bar. Speak to Orzu. Ah, you're so reliable. I can see Juno's influence. Thank you again for your help. Okay, favor's done. Now it's time for you to hold up your end. Yes, yes, of course. Well, if you want to track Juno down, I think your most likely bet is to speak with Sandor, uh, her partner. Partner? Well, how much do you know about your aunt's activities? I know she was a hell, hell of a trader and made a lot of money out here by the frontier. Uh, that's one way to look at it. Most folks would call it smuggling, though. And Sandor moved the goods for her. You would try... Wait, you should try and get in touch with him. He's at some scabby station at the edge of the system. Uh, I'll mark it on your chart. Cool! So I guess that's what we're gonna do in the next episode, you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching today. If y'all did like the video, don't forget to give me some dab on that like button to show you support for the series. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how the music, the sound, and everything is. And I'll try to adjust it to you, what you guys think. So thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.